lovers, welcome back to our channel here. Today we are Mr. AB is here with Tay. Hey. Yeah. And CJ, myself, uh, Mr. Tasters, we are here to take you on an adventure uh, for uh, we are at Ruben Brewing in Ballard, Seattle. So yeah, let me give you a quick tour of how the exterior of this place is. So Ruben Brewing, the, this exterior is so cozy, even the patio furniture looks like it's getting a warm hug from the gas heater. The fire pit is like the pub's therapist, listening to everyone's tales of the day, all while casting a warm glow that makes you forget it's Seattle. Alright guys, the first one here is the Hell's Wolfsburg Lager. Oh man, look at this. It's just amazing. In an atmosphere like this, you cannot ask for more. Right, this uh, this beer has IBU so mild. It apologizes to the hops for being too gentle. It's like the beer took a yoga class, right, and then said, "I've mastered the art of hop tranquility." Tranquility, clocking at about four and a half, four point eight ABU, four point eight percent ABU. Um, it's not too strong, not too weak. It's just right to sip on, right? Mm. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a beer that tells other beers I'm here to stay out of trouble, but I'm here to make a party and have your taste buds definitely throw a party. It's so great, it's so refreshing. I think I'm gonna rate this a good nine and a half out of ten uh, for the health lager. Cheers. So the next up is Cricky. This is their flagship IPA. So prepare your taste buds for a wild ride with Cricky and at 6.8% ABV. This beer is saying, hold on to your hats, folks. We are going on an adventure and it might involve dancing with a kangaroo or two. With 53 per IBU, Cricky isn't just an IPA. It's an initiation into the Hoppy Hall of Fame. It's the kind of beer that makes hops flex their uh, bitterness muscles, but not too much. They are just showing off their cricky inspired gains. Zip it and you'll understand why it's named Cricky. Because you your taste buds will be will be surprised and delighted. You might you might just explain cricky. That's good. It's like a flavor expedition in a glass where each sip is passport stamp on your taste adventure. Woolworks Cricky IPA because life is too short for boring beers and not too long to say Cricky after a stellar sip. I'm gonna rate it 8 out of 10. Cheers guys. Alright, in this video, you got myself Mr. Taster and we got a Miss Taster in the making but not there yet. We'll get there. Right now, she, her duty is to hold on to the trays. Alright, so we are up here with um, Hazylicious uh, Hazy IPA. Uh, that's the name of it. Um, oh man, and, and and I can expect nuttiness on this. Let me give it a quick sip of it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This beer is hazelnutty enough to make the squirrels jealous and smooth enough that makes your taste buds do the cha-cha. Um, this is at 6% ABU, so a little bit out there. Uh, but this beer is saying, I'm not here to play hide and seek, but I can be found in the Hazelicious flavor jungle. With 50 ABU, the beer starts a perfect balance between hazelnut and hoppiness. It's like the brewers gave the hazelnut uh, a crash course in stand up comedy, and now they're cracking jokes on the hop. A, a flavor playing so harmonious, it's practically the Hazelicious symphony in this glass. If you sip it, you'll be convinced that hazelnuts and beers were always meant to be BFFs. It's hazelicious, baby. Because who needs a, a plain beer when you can have hazelnut infused happiness in every sip? This beer, this is where the nuts are nuttier, beers are beer, but hey, life's too short. I'm gonna rate this a good 9.8 on 10. Cheers. The next up is uh, Little Fox, a red ale that's at 6.5% ABV because being a little bit mischievous is just a part of being Foxy Charm. With 47 IBU, it's like, it's, a, it's like the beer is saying, I'm not here to cause trouble, I'm just here to sprinkle a bit of fox magic on your taste buds. 
Mm. Little fox is so smooth. It's like the beer equivalent of a fox gracefully maneuvering through a forest without disturbing a single leaf. At 6.5 percent, it's the kind of beer that whispers, "I'm not a heavyweight. I'm just a little fox with a big personality." Sip it, and you'll understand, and you'll swear. You hear the mischievous laughter of a fox in the distance, or maybe it's just your taste buds doing a little jig. Little fox red ale, where the ABV is lie, the idea is cunning, and every sip is a foxy adventure that leaves you saying, "What does the fox say?" Little fox says, "Drink me." Cheers. This is eight and a half on ten, guys. All right. Next up, we have the Czech Filsner. This beer, I mean, I can, we, we did a live, um, live streaming a few days ago or a couple episodes ago where we rated this. This is a beer that was in the blue can, if our viewers remember, beautiful blue and silver can. Um, so this one's obviously draft, but I expect even better stuff here. Oh yeah, this beer is so smooth. Uh, it's like Czech Republic called dibs on the term liquid velvet. Uh, at 5.4% ABU, it's a beer equivalent of uh, leisurely taking a stroll through Prague, enjoyable, slightly unpredictable, and always leaving you with a smile on it. Uh, 35 uh, IBU. This Pilsen is a laid back cousin of the family reunion. Not too bitter, just perfectly content. To let you enjoy the party without stealing the spotlight. So this one here, I rated again a 9.5, just like how I did in the previous video uh, on the live stream. Cheers to the Pilsner. So the next up is a crushable IPA. I'm gonna just dive into it. I can't wait to get a taste of it. Mm. So crushable, the hazy IPA. That's so easy going. It makes other beers. Jealous of its laid-back vibe. At 5.2% ABV, it's like a beer said, "I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Let's keep it breezy, folks." With 26 IBU, this hazy IPA is like the beer version of your favorite chill playlist. Not too intense, just enough to get you in the groove. It's kind of a beer that says, "Crush me at your own pace. I'm not in a hurry." Sip it, and you will feel like you're on a tropical vacation with the only stress is deciding which which beach to lounge on crushable hazy ipa where the abv is your relaxation coach the ibu is your carefree companion and every sip is a reminder that life's too short for complicated brews just crush it and enjoy the ride i'm gonna give it eight and a half on ten cheers guys so this is a guide, the part of the video that I hate the most where I'm torn between drinking more or heading back to doing some other productive things. But here it is. I had a lot of fun with Mr. CJ here at Ruben Brewing Company. And it's an amazing place. I definitely recommend coming here. I can totally imagine how lively this place must be during summertime. You, you may have witnessed it here before. So I'll let him talk more oh, yeah. about it. Oh yeah, I've been here in the summer times. It's just awesome. They've got a lot of seating. In fact, they expand the seating to the back end uh, of this uh, complex. And in the winter times right now, it looks like it's closed. They even have a band playing uh, on, on, on weekends. So it's an amazing place. Uh, but our time here has come to an end. Uh, thank you guys for your support. It means a lot to us. And until we see you next time. Keep those pints pints cold. Well, hey, we say we have time. Let me do it. Keep those taste buds curious and those pints. Oh, yeah.